Welcome back to 3611 Clifton Avenue in El Paso, Texas. The house has been renovated and it uh, still has its original character, but lots, lots of modern new t uh, touches and it's just beautiful. Let's go inside and take a look. Uh, they did the uh, uh, exterior features, the eaves, in black, which, uh, you know, gives it a, a lot of new character. The uh, garage door is now black. You can see they've replaced that upstairs window to the uh, the uh, little apartment above the garage. All right, let's go on inside and take a look. So here we go in the house. They've returned to the hardwood floors that were with the original house. As you can see, took this closet out. There was a closet next to the door here to give some more space. They reduced the size of the picture window in the living room. They explained to us that that was because they installed refrigerated air and that great big picture window was uh, uh, leaking. Why is it now? Although I was very careful, I realized that people couldn't see me. Now I did the window and it's Behind this wall, there was a closet. They took that closet out, and you're about to see how they used the space. Get ready for a big surprise when we come around here to this bathroom. It's much bigger now, what do you know? Because not only did they take out the closet that, but on the left side, the closet that went to the kitchen. On the right side, it was a closet for this bedroom. And now they they moved that closet to here. So this is now a closet. They did not change much else about this room except took out the door. There used to be a door to the back bedroom right there. They took out that door. And then so now the only thing connecting these two bedrooms is the bathroom, which actually I think makes a lot of sense. Uh, also, there was a closet right here. They took that door out and put it inside this back bedroom. Also makes a lot of sense. So now that closet goes to this bedroom. Uh, repainted everything, which is much nicer. Boy, I remember this room is just full, full, full of junk. And now, ready for somebody to move in. All right, we're gonna go. The, uh, the uh, basement was unchanged. They left it exactly as it was, just cleaned it a little bit more. Uh, did not change the basement. They're gonna let the new owners decide what to do with that. This has been converted into a laundry room. As you can see, it has laundry hookups. It used to be the breakfast nook. When this house was built, people didn't have, there was no such thing as washers and dryers. Now, a laundry room is pretty much an essential fixture for a modern home. Let's go upstairs. Here we go into what used to be the apartment over the garage, a giant bedroom which could be used as an apartment. In fact, this is where Rusty lived for a number of years. Put in a new front window, it looks beautiful. One giant picture window. And uh, you'll notice there used to be a vent, an air conditioning vent right there above that window. Covered that up, they have replaced the, uh, all the uh, air conditioning with, you see, you see that vent there, it's uh, refrigerated air and central heating for the whole house. And here's a giant change, you may remember, this was the little kitchenette for the upstairs. They converted it into this beautiful bathroom. So. Very handsome. So now this this is really a standalone room that you know this could be the kids' room or something like that with its own very nice modern looking bathroom. And they, they resurfaced the uh, balcony they, that had some roofing material on it. It was just terrible. Looks much better now. In the backyard, they got a new fence. Do you see that nice shiny new fence? Shiny new was a wooden fence, much a big improvement over before. All right, now we head into the upstairs, what used to be what we called Granddad's bedroom. But first, we'll stop here. Take a look at how they modernized this beautiful bathroom. Very nice. There's the <laughs> that's the one fixture that I had well, the toilet and that uh, vanity, the two features that I did when I was going to try to do the renovation myself. But they did a much better job of this uh, bathroom, the uh, shower in here than I could have imagined. This is really, they, they knew what they were doing in here. The upstairs bedroom is unchanged. They even kept the windows exactly as they were. The closet, 
she, the girl who did this uh, renovation project, a woman named Naya Lee, said she liked the character of these windows. They have a, they give the house its character, and I have to agree. Very, very uh, uh, interesting style of windows. It you know, take, gives the house a personality. So this room is more or less unchanged, but of course they took up the carpet and uh, put to reveal that beautiful hardwood floor that was part of the original house. So there we go. Uh, well, from here, if you look out this window, you can look down and see behind the new wooden fence is the old wooden fence that goes with the other house, the next door house. So that's what they replaced. And now, of course, they're using the correct property line, which means that the, the, the backyard is a little bit smaller, but we don't go all the way to the wall of the next door house.